Let's go over some of the risk factors. The first two on the list uh, are young boys and adult women. What puts them at a higher risk? Just statistically, they're, they're, they're by, you know, based on statistics, they're the ones that are most commonly affected. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. People with allergies, obviously. Oh, yes. Aller not all a a asthma is allergic, but there is a... Correlation? A, there is. There is a, a definite association of allergies and asthma. Certain ethnicities? Which ones? Uh, African Americans and, and uh, individuals of uh, Latin descent also tend to have more prevalence. And this one makes perfect sense, people with certain jobs. So, of course. Uh, individuals that are exposed to any kind of irritant, um, um, uh, woodworkers sometimes, uh, chemical workers, uh, certain industries that are more prevalent. Yeah. I have some yes or no questions. Is there a cure uh, for asthma? Um, mm. Not a definitive cure because it's not a, a completely curable disease. It's like to manage it, right? But it right? can be controlled. Okay. Can kids outgrow asthma? They can. They can? They can. Okay. Both female and male? Yeah. Girls tend to outgrow it more often than males do, but it can be outgrown. Uh, this is a hypothetical question. You may not be able to answer it, but what makes it so hard to find a cure for this? Well, it's a, it's a, uh, it's a an ongoing process of inflammation that, that's always there present in the airway. Uh, it's like any other inflammatory disease like uh, arthritis or any other disease can be controlled and the damage long term can be minimized but definitive treatment is very difficult.